Hello, boys and girls of ATIS. Today is Sunday, May 3rd, 2020, and we are going to learn how to summarize a story. Before we begin, we are going to learn what a summary is. A summary is a short version in a reader's own words of the main points and events in a story. A summary should include the main elements of a story, which are the setting, characters, problem, and solution. You can often find a summary on the back of a book to let you know what the book will be about. Why is it important for you to learn how to summarize? It's important to learn how to summarize for the following reasons. First, so that you can determine the main points and ideas from the story. You will also have a better understanding of what you have read. You can also tell others about the important information from the story. But how can I summarize a story, I hear you ask? Well, it's very easy if you follow these steps. First, read the text and find what's most important. Think about the elements of the story and the characters. Next, think. Is this something that is crucial to understanding the story? Then, Use your own words to focus on the most important parts while writing your summary. Now, I'm going to teach you a strategy that will make summarizing a piece of cake. This is called the somebody wanted, but, so, then strategy, or SWBST for short. This strategy will help you find and focus on the most important elements of the story. A summary, as we mentioned before, should include the main elements of the story, which are the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution. In order to do this, you must ask yourself these questions while reading the story. Who is the main character of the story? Where did the story take place? What did the main character want? What problems or challenges does the main character face? How does the character try and solve the problem? How does the story end? Once you have answered these questions, you will be ready to write your summary. Now let's try to apply the SWBST strategy to summarize the following short story. We will read the story and try to identify the main elements, which are the main character, the setting, the problem, the solution, and the ending. Each of these elements will be color-coded and underlined to make them stand out. The character will be in red. What the character wanted will be colored orange. The problem will be colored yellow. The solution will be colored green. And the ending will be colored blue. Patterson the donkey. Patterson the donkey loved eating hay. He could never seem to get enough as he grazed the fields throughout the day. One day, he spotted some especially tasty looking hay from across the field. There was just one problem. He noticed there was a wide rushing river that separated him from the scrumptious hay. He decided to walk a bit down the river to see what he could find. All of a sudden, he saw a small wooden bridge that crossed over the river. Quickly, he ran to it and looked the bridge over to be sure it would hold him. 
When he was confident that it would hold him, he began to cross it. In no time, Patterson was munching on some of the best hay he'd ever eaten and couldn't have been happier. Now, let's try to identify who the main character of the story is. Remember that the main character is the character that the story is mostly about. If you answered Patterson the donkey, then you are right. Next, we need to figure out what Patterson wanted. Yes, Patterson wanted to eat the tasty hay he saw across the field. Now, let's think about the problem that Patterson faced. Patterson's problem was that there was a wide rushing river that separated him from the hay he wanted to eat. Hmm, what solution did Patterson come up with to solve his problem? Very good. He walked down the river, found a bridge, and began to cross it. So, how did the story end? That's right. Patterson was able to cross the river and taste the delicious hay. He was very happy. In this way, we will have located all the important elements that we need to summarize the story. Now, let's put all the elements together and write the summary. It should look something like this. Patterson the donkey saw some tasty looking hay from across the field. But he had one problem. He noticed there was a wide rushing river that kept him from getting to the hay. So he walked down the river, found a bridge and crossed it. Finally, Patterson had some of the delicious hay and felt very glad. Let's see the strategy in action one more time. Example number two, Julie's big fear. Julie loved summertime the most because she got to spend it with her favorite cousins. When the first day of summer came, Julie became worried because her cousins mentioned going to a theme park nearby to ride roller coasters. Julie was so afraid of heights. On the car ride over, her cousins assured her that she didn't have to write them if she didn't want to. Julie decided she would give one a try, and if she didn't like it, she wouldn't write any more. It turned out she had a blast on the first ride they went on. She had so much fun that she ran to the next roller coaster. Julie ended up conquering her fear of heights, and in return, found a new love for roller coasters. Once again, we need to find the main character. Yes, Julie is the main character of the story. Now, what did Julie want? Correct, she wanted to spend time with her cousins. What's Julie's problem? That's right, her problem was that her cousins planned to ride a roller coaster and Julie was afraid of heights. Now, what did she do to solve her problem? Great, she decided she would give one a try and if she didn't like it, she wouldn't try it anymore. Now, how did the story end? Julie had so much fun that she ran to the next roller coaster. 
she had conquered her fear of heights. Now, let's put all the elements together. The summary should look something like this. Julie wanted to spend summer time with her favorite cousins, but she was worried because her cousins were planning to ride roller coasters and Julie was so afraid of heights. So Julie decided she would give one a try and if she didn't like it, she wouldn't ride anymore. Then Julie had so much fun that she ran to the next roller coaster and ended up conquering her fear of heights. Now, let's wrap up and review what we've learned today. We learned how to use the SWB-ST strategy to summarize a story. Remember to think about the following points while reading to determine the main elements of a story. Who the main character is and where the story takes place what the character wants or is trying to do, the problem the character faces, and how the character solves the problem. Finally, what happens after the character solves the problem or at the end of the story. This is all for now, boys and girls. I hope you'll find summarizing a story easier after this tutorial. You are going to apply what you've learned today to write a summary for Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Please make sure to complete the activity posted on Class Dojo and don't forget to send a picture to your teacher. Take care and stay safe.